what's up guys welcome back this week i will be doing a wash and go using the design essentials almond and avocado line um i randomly picked this up on a binge when i was shopping in the beauty supply store and so i figured i would review it give it a try because my hair really loves avocado as you guys know i am low porosity so i have to make sure my hair is drenched before i apply my shampoo and with the shampoo i always look for this if you see how it kind of sticks when i separate my hands because that gives me this lather that i love so much with my shampoos i'm always just like if it don't lather it ain't for me i don't need it i don't want it like my shampoo has to lather and so as you see i have to go back in sometimes because my hair is so thick and it's very hard um, to make sure I get shampoo on all of my hair sometimes. So it's okay if you have to go back in and get more. The whole dime size thing never ever applies when it comes to natural hair. Like get your hair what it needs and that's what you do. So now I'll go in, I'll rinse out my shampoo, and I always make sure that I start from the front of my head, so that way if I have any residual shampoo in the front that it kind of drips to the back, because I have this habit of rinsing out anything that's in my hair, and I'll get out and it'll still be around my edges, and so I'm just trying to do better about that. And you can see like the huge transformation in my hair from how I started to now and like it's amazing so now I'm going to go in with the hair mask you know normally I deep condition before I shampoo but I wanted to follow the directions on this line and I'm just going to go in I'm going to apply the mask all over my hair and this was a different experience for me because normally when I deep condition I look for something with a thicker consistency um but this was fine. I was actually shocked, you know, at how well my hair received it because it normally doesn't do well with um, like things with a thinner consistency. And so I'll do the same as I do with my deep conditioners. I'll go in, I'll apply it, and then I will go through and twist my hair. And then I will put on a shower cap. As you can see, it's hanging on my um, shower knob and i will then put that on leave it on for like 15 to 30 minutes and i don't have like a hooded dryer or a dryer that i sit under so what i do is i put on my plastic shower cap and then i get my blow dryer and i go in like all over my head kind of in a circle just to apply heat to just kind of help the product get into my hair cuticles So I have now rinsed out my hair mask. Um, I also applied and rinsed out the conditioner, but for some god awful reason, my camera wasn't recording it. So I have no videographic proof of the conditioner, what it looked like, how it did my hair, any of that. But this is the after. And I was talking on this, but I didn't want to be like inconsistent and have parts of the video where it was voiceover and then the other part where it was um, me talking. And so I figured I would just voice over everything. And so here, basically what I was saying was I'm going to go in with the, I think it's called a, a moisturizing lotion. And I'm going to use that as my deep conditioner because I didn't really know what to use it for. And so you can kind of see the consistency there and it's really a lot thicker than i expected it to be but that's fine um it kind of felt like an in-between mixture of a leave-in and a deep conditioner so i don't know like i'm not sure that that product i will use again honestly it's probably really good if you don't like to use a leave-in 
as a refresher it's probably better um so i bought this denman brush i think three weeks ago maybe and i've been using it ever since like it has been the best thing for me detangling wise and i also use it on munch's hair and it's great d38 denman brush go get you one i will put the link down in the description um so basically i'm just gonna go through take the moisturizing lotion apply it and detangle um my entire head and i always have this habit of twisting so things stay detangled and keep it nice fresh and funky if you want to you know use that verbiage so i'll go through do that and okay. you know i'll be very honest with you and tell you i was team wide tooth comb like to the death of me for detangling until i got this brush and it literally made a difference like so i definitely recommend getting the d38 or a paddle brush without the bristles on the end for detangling and so now i'm just basically going to go through apply the leave-in which i forgot to show you guys so i'll post a photo um but i'll go in with my leave-in apply that and that's just what i use as my base for my wash and goes so i'll apply this to my entire head and then i'll go back in as well with the d38 denman brush just to evenly distribute the product all over my head and you will literally see a drastic difference in my hair from when i rinsed out um, the conditioner to this and just look how these curls clump with this d38 like this brush is amazing and they didn't pay me to say that so like this is for real so go get it like I believe it's a great investment and just like like you can tell like it's well made so it's not gonna be something you buy and then you're gonna need to go buy another one in like three months or six months or whatever so I definitely recommend paddle brush I recommend the Denman brush like look at that oh my gosh every time I watch I just get excited and it makes me want to go brush my hair like love it get you one look at the results like think about what my hair looked like before in the shower and then look at that now this like yo amazing amazing So now I'm gonna go in with the curling cream and this is what I will be using to set my curls in my wash and go to give me that definition and that hold that I'm looking for. Um, I normally would use a gel, but this line didn't come with one. And so instead I'll be using the curling cream. And this is probably my second time using a cream instead of a gel for my wash and go. The first was the Aunt Jackie's Curl Whip, which I love because it gave me volume. And so I'm excited to see if this will give me more definition and hold with that volume, like as the days go by. So when I'm applying this, I am going to go in with my other Denman brush, which is the D3. And this is the brush that I'm really gonna use to define my curls. Um, because you'll see as I'm brushing with this one, they both are really well for defining. It's just about what you want your curls to look like. Um, but I'm gonna go in with this one, simply because I like the way the curls look after I brushed with it and you can see the difference in that definition as opposed to the D38 paddle brush and so again I'll go in with the curling cream apply it all over and I will go in with the D3 
get my curls defined and make it do what it do. as you can see guys we are all done i would definitely recommend this line especially if you are low porosity or if you just have difficulties moisturizing your hair because this line definitely definitely gives you the moisture that you need um this wash and go here is fully wet and then i'll show you with about 25 to 30 percent dry this wash and go will be the base for my video for next week so make sure you tune in so that way you can see what this wash and go looks like dry don't forget like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys next week bye